So I mean, this is a continuation, man. <coughs> I brought this news here. She watched Russia hypersonic cruise missile Zyklon to be deployed in Syria. So it is hypersonic missiles in the valley of Yamashapat. See, as time goes, man, ISA will deploy all kind of weapon, man, over there in the Middle East. Because, man, first and foremost, that, that land over there must be cleansed through so that fire. That's why I brought a uh, message 24 starting at verse 1. It say it read, and how she went out and departed from the temple, and his disciple came to him to, for to show him the buildings of the temple. And how she said unto them, See not all of the things where I say unto you, there shall not be left here one stone upon another, that shall not be thrown down. So how she was prophesizing about the said, Yo. Because when you go over there in the state of Israel right now, you have the remaining of the, of the, of the, of the second temple. And which he, the second temple, even how I walked in the second temple. See. So you still have the remaining of the second temple. See. So when will this prophecy be fulfilled? That's the, not. There will be no stone left upon another. So that land over there is going to be cleansed. It's going to be swept clean, man, through uh, these hypersonic missiles, man. Like I was telling you in part one that, hey, man, we, we won't reach a certain point where, uh, for the sake of our children, uh, we will come into a conclusion, you know, we will come into what you call a peace agreement that we should not use the missile and uh, uh, we, we should put them in a museum somewhere so that our kids, our grandchildren will go over there and take a selfie, see, hi, and her boyfriend taking selfie, see, oh, oh you Sodom, me, a, a man and another man taking a selfie, they are in a relationship somewhere in the museum posing in front of a zikroni hypersonic emission. No. Or in Hebrew we say la. See, this is um, Bible prophecy we're seeing right now, man. And for you simply to out of there, man, uh, who you cannot grip see, the concept of prophecy, who you cannot uh, uh, discern time, because time is one among the factory of prophecy. There is no prophecy without time. That's why Isa we have what you call space and time in which you see the Bible tells you, you see our Lord Yahweh, Bahashem Yahashai is outside the space and time. That's why he is called the ancient of day. See? All the scripture tell you Yahweh Shai is a is, is the principle for all sin. Everything was created through him and without him there was nothing which was uh, 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 formed, man. So he is outside the uh, creation and the time waste of time that's a masterpiece from Yahaba Hashem Yahashai. And in order for you to have prophecy, you need to have time. That's the factorio of prophecy. That's why a lot of people tell you you cannot box time, you cannot fight time. Really, it should be you cannot fight the prophecy, man. Uh, you will be broken. Uh, for example, this guy is this guy who came and said, Man, the mark of the beast is not any other for a day chip. Time slash prophecy will prove them wrong uh, because time is a subset of prophecy and uh, you have a lot of subset in, uh, when you speak about prophecy so why among them man it is the said yo uh, going back in time and uh, now I don't see a lot of scoffer who says that there is no miss in the scripture because it is more evident right now man and the whole thing we, 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 we are speaking, starting with our elders and the apostles over here in the mission is coming to pass, especially when you go to the book of Joel 3. Say, for behold, in those days and in that time when I shall bring against the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, that was going into the kingdom of heaven being within. Uh, because somebody might be asking himself uh, why we don't see this prophecy happening. This prophecy is happening in front of your eyes, man. How is the Lord bringing the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem? Uh, through uh, see, the Holy Spirit, man, which he, is the word, this truth, verse 2, in which is that, uh, that's the main, the main point. Uh, he also gets the whole nation and brings them down to the valley of Yahweh Shepati. So like this, uh, personic missiles in Syria, the valley of Yahweh Shepati. 
and then we have a lot of new ratio here. See this was three hours ago. Is a scope scope here as a system. Is a launch shocking electronic warfare. So there is the what you call it a shadow going on over there in Israel, man. And I, at first it was the Israeli and the Iran. Now Russia is being involved and America is being involved. So I anyway, mean, this year we uh, we witness what you see, man. <laughs> it, it is not far fetched. Israel terrified Iran developed the new BM 120 surface to surface ballistic missile. There is a lot of ballistic missile. Surface to air, air to surface, surface to surface. You see, air to air, ballistic missile. You see, they watch is a high pre precision airstrike satellite image. Uh, image show smoke. See, uh, see destroy Iran weapon base. Iran to strike Israel. Iran war, revenge. Iran condemn Israel. Mm, you see, so Israel attacked the Iranian base in Syria. The Iranian avoiding revenge. Let me see. Israeli capture Iranian army base. Israel intensifying air war in Syria. So, I mean, the news is getting tighter every day. And it will come to a point where this nation will be forced to fight. Let me see. Putin sent at least 50 Russian warship to the U.S. coast. Ooh, that's heavy, man. See, China building hundreds of millions of barrels of Iran sanctioning oil. So, the American put sanctions on Iran so they can't sell their oil, and China is buying them all, man. <laughs> because they, they already have a similar shy made more breach, man. He made more breach. Right now, he's doing a whole Moshaya want him want him to do. Especially in this last say, say Russian electronic warfare. So we saw earlier it was Israeli electronic warfare. Now it is Russian electronic warfare. That's the shadow oh, man going on between the state of Israel, Iran, back to with Russia. See uh, another news: Russia will hit Ukraine from seven directions at once. See, so that's that's that's, that's a loom of four men. There is no peace to you with the man. U.S. warship preparing to, to attack Russia and ship in the incident near uh, Crimea. Uh, so, uh, let me you see, uh, repeat, Joy 3 and 2. I will also get our nation and I will bring them down into the valley of Yahusha party and I will pray them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nation and parted my land. They have cast a lot for my people and have given a boy for an inheritance and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. So going to verse 9, he says, Proclaim this among the gentiles, prepare war. Wake up the mighty man. That's going to you, pilot, you major general, you, you lieutenant, sergeant, corporal, whatever, man. Let all the men of war draw nigh, let them come up. And really, that was going to Israel, man. Proclaim is among the gents, I prepare all wake up the mighty men, that's Israel. Beat your pressure into sword and your pruning hook into spear, let the weak say I'm strong. That's going to this small nation. Example, Iran being backed by Russia. If you assemble yourself and come, or you hear and engage yourself around about him. He's a cause I might want to come down in Oyahawa. Let the his and be awakened and come up to the valley of our shepherd. All praise and honor and glory to Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. So this was a quick uh, little update because uh, uh, every now and then I go through this news, man. Because there is a lot of news you can't even keep up, man. So you will see will pop up any day from now, man. So with this, I say shalom. I hope you brothers will divide onto the next.